Thank you for clicking on the video and here on Nermimic, I have a package I just got. I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna open it up and share it with you guys. And I'm gonna kick the family out of the house and maybe not play with them for a couple of weeks. I do love my family and my daughter's probably gonna play this as well, but I wanna get a crack at it first. So what is this package? It is in an unusual cardboard box that you can see here. It's from Larian Studios and it's Boulder's Gate, big box. This is the physical release of this awesome video game. I haven't really dived into it. I've seen other people play it and I tried it at a friend's house and of course I'm gonna like this game. We love D&D here. I played the first two on the PC. Now this came out for Windows in August of last year and came out for the consoles of September last year, but there was never any physical release. And finally they did so and announced that um, maybe earlier this year and finally we got it in. So we do love physical content here. If you don't have it in hand, I don't think you really own it. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to get this cracked open. And let's see what's in this box. Okay, so it is rather large. It's definitely larger than a game case. Game case is about this size. So what is within this container? We'll have to get it unsealed. Now I'm gonna try to preserve the shrink wrap on this by removing or just cutting the bottom part here so I can use the shrink wrap as a slip cover. So let me try to get that done. Let me start here on the sides. So you just want to cut on the sides and maybe a single angle here on the back part, not the front. So you could use the flap here to preserve the front cover. I don't do this with all my games, but for certainly this one, it may be worth the trouble. see. All right, looks like the flap is loose and I should be able to pop out the contents within. All right, looks like it's coming out. And has this wonderful cover with a mind flare on it. Okay, it is off. So looks like they made it look like an old tome. And even here is a sticker for the clasp. So this can't be preserved. This will have to be broken. I could probably cut it on this side as well. And the tape is made to look like a metal clasp. And so unfortunately, I think that has to be actually removed. All right, so another slip cover within a slip cover. And now the contents are coming out. All right, so what do we have here? We got a Baldur's Gate parchment-like paper. It has a very nice, thick, and interesting texture to it. And it looks like it is a map. All right, so we might have to reference that as we play. A little quality control code or sticker here. Get rid of that. This here, I think, is a poster. Um, let's see, flip side. 
show you the entire thing. Uh, it looks like it is a poster of a mind flare within the game. And here's the bottom half of it showing the title. All right, I probably will not use this. Let's see, up next we got some stickers. So I think my daughter might apply these to her water bottle when she goes to elementary school. She definitely loves stickers. And here, even more here. Oh, she's gonna like these. So my daughter, as you know, is very much into fantasy role-playing. And uh, she did finish uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom all by herself. So I'm very proud of her to do so. And she's looking forward to her next game to play. It might be this one. So I might create a party and she may do one herself. So these are pretty interesting extras. But yeah, we just want to get hold of this, the physical release of the game. Uh, from what I understand, you cannot buy this separate as a game like this. It does have to come with all this other um, accessories. There's even a larger one with a statue and all that. I, I don't need all that. I, I just wanted the physical release of the game. So that would be this. If you grew up in the 80s, you knew the video games uh, back then. They always had like, little pamphlets and uh, manuals uh, within physical, actual instruction manuals. They were quite thick for role-playing games. I do miss those. I'm sure when I open this up, there's nothing inside except for the disc. So that's uh, always disappointing to me. Let's see what we got here. And uh, original game soundtrack. Well, it's a very beautiful presentation for sure. All the tracks listed there. And it looks like we got some patches here. All right, maybe I'll give it to my little boy and he can put it on his uh, Taekwondo uniform. <laughs> all right, and that's it. That is all within the box. So the only thing remaining is to get this out of the shrink wrap. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna try to preserve the wrap as a protective cover. So all you have to do to do that is slice this case at the bottom and take a scissor and just sort of peel it along the bottom like this, like so. Going around the bend here. And for the opposite side, I have to make a little snip here. And another snip on the other side. And you could fold this back, the thick part of the plastic and you will have to cut it rather than peel it because it has multiple layers there with the plastic. And usually with that, you're able to slip off the cover. And there you go. So that is how you open up a video game and preserve the plastic as a protective wrap later. So what is within the game? Yes, nothing here, unfortunately. But we do have the game disc and it looks like it's actually a couple, yeah, two discs. So we've got the play disc here, and we have the install or data disk here. All right, so super happy to have, have this in hand. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this kind of unboxing and D&D, uh, &D, hopefully consider hitting that sub button. It costs you nothing, and it certainly helps us out. So thanks for watching this unboxing of Baldur's Gate 3, the physical release. Keep on adventuring out there, and I'm certainly going to do so over the next several weeks. So if I don't post too much, you know the reason why. By the way, if you want a copy for yourself, all you have to do is go to the Larian website and click on their store, and you could buy a copy today. Now, they have Wave 2 coming in shortly. Please do not pay a scalper for this game. They will make plenty of more, I promise you. So it's available for PC, PlayStation 5, and the Xbox Series. The lowest tier and the edition I unboxed in front of you is the Deluxe Edition.